somewhere in the early to mid-2000s, there was a top-secret project at Microsoft, codenamed, Field. It was meant to be the newest version of Windows XP, with revolutionary new features and capabilities. But something went horribly wrong. The project's lead developer, a brilliant but reclusive programmer named James, became obsessed with the project. He worked long hours, neglecting his family and friends. He slept in his office, surrounded by code and Mountain Dew cans. Rumors circulated that he had made a deal with the devil to ensure the success of the project. As the release date approached, James became increasingly erratic. He insisted on testing the software himself, refusing to let anyone else use it. He claimed that he had discovered a hidden feature that would change the world, but he refused to reveal what it was. One day, James disappeared. His office was empty, and the only thing left behind was a single floppy disk labeled, Field. No one knew where he had gone or what had happened to him. The company tried to salvage the project, but it was too late. The software was buggy and unstable, and it caused computers to crash and freeze at random. Users reported strange glitches and errors, and some claimed that the software was haunted by James's ghost. Rumors spread of a hidden easter egg in the software, a secret message from James himself. Some claimed that if you typed a certain code into the command prompt, the screen would turn black and a message would appear. I am always watching. The project was never released to the public, and it was quietly buried. But some say that the software still exists, hidden away on a forgotten server, waiting for someone brave enough to install it. And if you do, be warned. James may be watching you, even now.